Hey, thanks for joining me. Today we're talking about loyalty. So after I got out of the army, I became a contractor. And as a contractor, I would deploy forward with units. And so the guys that I supported depended on me to do my job. Well, the guy that I was supposed to replace ended up having a heart attack and I had to go early. So they told me, hey, two weeks, you gotta go. I said, all right, I'm on the plane. At the same time, our contract completely went upside down. So I had to sign a new contract on my way out. When well, the process, um, there was no room for negotiations and it was early on and they were doing these like super low offers. So usually contractors make really good money when they deploy forward, but I was making less money deploying forward with the unit than I did when I first got out of high school. And so the guys that I was there with, they said, hey, we understand if you want to cut out and renegotiate and go back or do something else, like no hard feelings, we know what you guys are going through. So when I signed the contract, I thought for sure that this was going to get better and it would write itself and that this was just like a paperwork hiccup. But the longer I stayed, the more I realized this was going to be like a regular thing and it wasn't going to be changed right away. And so the guys that I was with, they said, hey, if you want to cut out, we totally understand. But I didn't. I stayed with them. And they, they had a lot more respect um, for my work after that. And I gained uh, a level of intimacy with that group. And it was important because the guys that I worked with, we had to have trust among us. And without that trust, then we was, wasn't gonna be able to work as well together. And so because I stuck it out when it was hard, then I gained favor with those men that I was working for and working with. And it wasn't just because they were getting a product or service cheaper, but it was because of the loyalty that I showed through my actions. But this is true for everywhere. If we're working with somebody or if we're friends with somebody, if we're married to somebody, it doesn't matter. Our person to person relationships, we have more favor toward people that we believe are loyal to us. And so we have actions and words that we can use, um, but I think of like in a marriage vows, we say in sickness and in health, for better or for worse. Like that's a stick to it. This is a loyalty, I'm committing to you. It doesn't matter how good it is, it doesn't matter how bad it is, or how bad it gets, like this is, this is me and you, we're sticking together. And so this is the way that we can help show our loyalty to other people, is by showing those actions. And while this was true for me in this case, it's also true for you. That if you show yourself to be loyal, then you will gain favor. So what does the Bible say about it? Our verse this week is Proverbs 3, 3 and 4. And we're going to break this into two separate lessons or videos because there's two really key words in this and I want to break each of those down uh, and they, they warrant a lesson in and of themselves. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck write them upon the table of thine heart, so shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. So in this verse we have two things, this is mercy and truth, and these are the two things that we're gonna break down in two lessons. And then if you bind these around your neck and write them on your heart, internalize them, then you will find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. So these two things, if you internalize them, then you will get these things or receive these things or this will be the result. And Proverbs is a very practical book and it's it's a lot of, if you do this, then this is kind of the way that things work. So the two words here, let not mercy and truth, that is let not chesed and emeth forsake thee. These are the two things that you are to internalize and chesed is what I want to focus on today. This word chesed is translated in the various English versions of the Bible from Hebrew into kindness, loyalty, love, gracious love, loving kindness, and steadfast love. And I think steadfast love or loyalty is probably the two, but it's all of these things like wrapped up together in one word. And so the King James translates, uh, translates it as mercy, but this is really a concept of like a family type devotion. And so the word hesed is used throughout the book of Ruth as a great example. Um, I highly recommend you read chapter one and then focus in on verses 16 and 17. And this is as like a narrative example of what hesed is. And that's, and Ruth said, entreat me not to leave thee, nor return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go, and where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people will be my people, and thy God, my God. Where thou diest will I die, and there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if aught but death part thee and me. That is chesed. It is 
the loyalty of family that cannot be separated. It is the steadfast love of not cutting out when times get hard. Thanks for joining me.